my brothers and sisters. The Spirit of God is heavy upon me right now. He would have me to remind you through the script, through your King James 1611 Bible. Don't you dare throw that Bible away. You see the depths of God wrote that Bible. Man intended it for your destruction. But he who knoweth all things put the wisdom of to hoot within the scripture. And when you are balanced, when you are enlightened, when you are one with the divine soul, God reveals the divine revelation. He reveals truth unto you. He allows you, my beloved, to know what his will, what his divine will is. You see, we have a comforter who lives and abides and is with us at all times. But we are the beloved of God. Read, my beloved, the 18th chapter of the book of Genesis. One and eight is nine. Overstand the significance of the numerology. Read the 18th chapter in its entirety. And then read the 19th chapter in its entirety. Those of you who have followed my post should readily know what time it is. You should be able to grasp the truth of these two chapters in a new light. If you have followed my post, if you are indeed aware of the truth, of God. I am the fourth one after the three. In the 18th chapter, you see Father Abraham sitting in his tent in the heat of the day in the, in the plain of Mamre, which is a coded word. He looks up and he beholds three angels. I said, I am the fourth one after the three. Abraham in this chapter is the fourth one after the three. Notice how Abraham immediately recognized who these individuals are. You see, when you have divine intercourse with God, you have clear vision. He referred to these men as lords because he knew that they were the power of God, the three. Do you understand what I'm saying unto you? Abraham reasoned with the angels. Questioned them about what they had come to do. Because see, when you are one with God, all things are revealed unto you. Now in the 19th chapter, we see also the same thing. We see Lot also a righteous man. You see, when you have divine intercourse with God, you know his way. He also recognized the angels and brought them within his own abode, his own house, to protect them. And they, in turn, protected Lot. I say he should give his angels charge concerning you because you are the son of God. Be ye male or female, we are the sons of God. And I want you to see what time it was. Iniquity abound 
all over the world and in that place and time. And the cry, the stench of the sin, it come before the Most High. And he sent his representatives, the three, to look into the matter and to know of it all together. And to see if it was indeed true. Now these angels, my beloved, came to do what? I said unto you and say unto you repeatedly that I am the angel that stands upon the land and sea, declaring that this time shall exist no more. Who, beloved, are you? You are not only the Savior, my beloved, but you are the destroyer. And so once the angel saw the iniquity of the city, draw the correlation of the revelation of what is revealed in the 18th and 19th chapter of Genesis with the reality and the state of the world today. And you will know that what I have said unto you and will continually bring unto you is from the Lord. I speak not of myself, my brother, but whatever he giveth unto me, that I give unto you. I am indeed the fourth one after the three. I am the voice of God. Read these two chapters, my brother, and understand what we must do. Overstand that Moses reasoned with the angels of God, and they indeed came to a consensus. I tell you all the time that God will not usurp authority over our will. Now is the time, my brother, of judgment. Now is the time for the earth to be cleansed, to be purged, to be restored unto her righteous, harmonious balance. Now is the time where you continue, my brother, in foolishness. Will you not set your house in order, my beloved, and align yourself with the divine will? And be saved. Read with overstanding the 18th and 19th chapter of the book of Genesis and know what time it is.